When we're looking at solving distance problems, oftentimes we know the total time it takes for something to be done, to get through the forest or to get through the entire trip. So when we have a total time, we need to decide how to handle that. Let's consider for a moment a total time of 8. If we had a total time of 8, I'll just put the total up here, and we'll put person A and person B down here. If we had a total time of 8, and the first person took 1 hour to get the thing done, B, the second part, to get a total of 8, would be 8 minus 1, or 7 hours. Similarly, again, working with a total time of 8 for the two different parts of the trip, if we had a total time of 6, the second part would be 8 minus 6, or 2 hours. And you notice again, the subtraction problem starts with the total time it takes to get the job done. And then we subtract whatever the first leg of the trip was. This means if I don't know the first part, let's say I just know there's a total time of 8, and the first part is some unknown time. The second part, then, can become that same subtraction problem, the total of 8 minus t. Again, you see the total of 8, and we subtract whatever the time is of the first leg. We notice that when we have the total time, we will use t for the first time, and the total minus t for the second time. As we do, it's really important that subtraction problem is in that order. If we do time minus the total, we'll end up with a negative number. So let's see what this looks like. When Lupe rides into the forest 10 miles per hour, turns back and returns by the same route, traveling 15 miles an hour, and if her trip took 5 hours total, how long did she travel at each rate? So Lupe travels into the woods, and she travels out of the woods. In on top, out on the bottom. We also know that distance is rate times time. So as she goes in, we're going to multiply the rate by the time, and as she goes out, we're going to multiply the rate times the time. So going into the forest, into the forest is 10 miles per hour. The rate is 10, and we don't know anything about the time she traveled into the forest. We're using t for the first time. On the way out, she travels 15 miles per hour, and her trip took a total of 5 hours. Rate times time. The rate coming out was 15 miles, and for the time, we will use the total minus t. Total minus t. So the total was 5 hours, and we subtract however long she spent going in. Looking at this picture, we can see going in and coming out, they cover the same distance. If they're the same distance, we can make those distances equal to each other. So 10t is equal to 15 times 5 minus t. We can now solve this by cleaning up, distributing a bit. 10t is equal to 15 times 5 is 75 minus 15t. Get the variable on one side by adding 15t to both sides. We now have 25t equals 75. Divide both sides by 25, and we find out that time is equal to 3. But we want to be careful that we answer the right question. How long did she travel? at each rate. 3 is the time going into the forest. As she went in, she traveled for 3 hours. Coming out, then, the time on the way out was 5 minus t, or 5 minus 3 is 2 hours. Took Lupe 3 hours to get in, and 2 hours to come out. 
Let's try another example where we're given the total time, and we need to calculate the pieces. Ian goes on a 230-mile trip. He starts going 45 miles per hour. Then there's road construction on the second leg of the trip and slows down for 25 miles per hour. The total trip took 6 hours. How long did he drive? Look here, we've got one distance added to the second distance to give us the total distance that Ian traveled of 230 miles. And we know each distance has to be rate times time. So we'll call this the fast part and the slow part. On the fast part, at the beginning of the trip, he's traveling 45 miles per hour. We don't know how long. We know the total time, but for total time, we'll use t. So the rate, 45 miles per hour, times some amount of time. Plus the second distance. Well, the second distance is where, she sl where he slowed down to 25 miles per hour, and the total trip took 6 hours. That's a total. So the rate is 25. The time going the second direction is the total minus t, 6 minus the time. That's going to equal the 230 miles. We now have an equation we can solve by adding the distances together. So we'll distribute the 25, and we get 45t plus 150 minus 25t equals 230. We can combine the like terms. 45 minus 25 is 20t's plus 150 equals 230. It's a two-step equation. We'll subtract 150 from both sides, and 20t is equal to 80. Divide both sides by 20. And time is 4 hours. That's the time when we were going fast. So we were going fast for 4 hours, and then we had to slow down. Now that's 6 minus t, 6 minus 4, we slowed down for 2 hours. Ian traveled for 4 hours, construction slowed him down for 2 hours, total trip took 6 hours.